So good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. Um, so, you know, also at the same time, I want to say thank you to our drivers that came all the way over from Italy to give you a sense on the track of exactly what this car is capable of doing. And as well, these are much more than just talented drivers. They are also integral to the success of this vehicle, racking up thousands of miles on this car at our proving grounds in Bolocco, Italy. So, we didn't get you all the way here though just to put you in the passenger seat. We want you to pilot this car, get behind the wheel so you can truly appreciate what this car is capable of because it's behind the driver's seat where this car really separates itself from the competition. So, if you think about it right now, in an era right now where the competition is mostly focused on anything but the driving experience, they're worried more about perfumed air fresheners, mood lighting and the like, we wanted to do something different. So to that end, to truly focus on the driving experience, we needed to start from scratch. That's exactly what we did. We started an all new vehicle with all new architecture, rear wheel drive based architecture, with all new powertrains, whether it be in the Quadrifoglio or in the Giulia and the Giulia TI, in an all new plant in Casino, Italy. And the end result of all of this is not just a new creation for us, it is an entirely new benchmark within the premium midsize sedan segment. So one of the other things that differentiates this vehicle from the others in the segment, if you think about most of the competition, it's a bottoms up approach. They take your base volume vehicle, they slowly add a more powerful engine, wider tires, wider wheels, and you end up with their high performance model. Instead, we took a top down approach. And the difference in that is quite significant. All of the inherent traits within the quadrifolio then is spread throughout the rest of the lineup. Things like the carbon fiber drive shaft, standard on every single Julia. The quick steering ratio that you'll hear more about in a moment, that is also standard across the board, along with an aluminum intensive body structure, near perfect 50-50 weight distribution. These are traits inherent in the quadrifolio spread throughout the rest of the range. Now, let's talk about performance. Clearly this is now for a male, performance is at the heart and core of this brand. So in the quadrifolio, you get an all new 2.9 liter bi turbo direct injection 24 valve intercooled V6 that puts out 505 horsepower and also dominates the competition. Zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 191 miles an hour. But, not to be outdone, the Julia and the Julia TI feature an all new two liter direct injection turbocharged and intercooled four cylinder that puts out a class leading 280 horsepower and propels this vehicle from 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and onto a top speed of 149 miles an hour. And it's also got an impressive 306 pound feet of torque, giving it tremendous versatility throughout the range. Now, one of the other things as well is clearly we care about the driving experience, clearly we care about performance with those powertrains, but we also care about giving the driver some customization and the ability to tailor that driving experience to their specific needs. So take a vehicle like the Quadrifoglio. This is a car that now is equally at home on the racetrack as it is in rush hour traffic. What enables this is that standard on every single Julia is DNA. So this enables you to switch it from dynamic mode, natural, advanced efficiency, and then exclusive to the Quadrifoglio is the race mode. So what this allows you to do is it provides for quicker shifts, turns off the ESC, so you know, on a day like today, you might need to be more careful on it, but it also opens up the dual mode exhaust in a vehicle like the Quadrifoglio in race mode, but even in dynamic mode. Quiet at idle, put your foot down, and again, it opens up that dual mode exhaust. Um, so it provides tremendous capability there. And then again, go to the racetrack, put it in race mode, set the suspension setting to firm, heading home from the track, put it in dynamic or natural mode and put the suspension in soft. This is a car you can live with every single day. As well, we want you to be in control of the shifts as well. So take the automatic transmission, tap it to the left, that puts it in fully manual mode. I'm sure anyone who loves driving, they want to control when the car shifts. Once you're in that mode, grab hold of the all aluminum column mounted paddle shifters. It will not upshift, it will not downshift, unless you give it the signal to do so, just as a true enthusiast would want it to be. Next, 
We also care that once behind the wheel, the driver is focused on the environment around them and not messing around with complex knobs and switches. So, we've also made it extremely intuitive and easy once you're behind the wheel. We have a number of shortcuts once you're there. So something as simple as a volume control knob does so much more than just that. So yes, it'll control that, but you tap it over to the right, it'll jump to the next song. Press and hold it, and it'll seep throughout that, that song. The other one is our rotary controller. If you think about a lot of the competition, you have very complex interaction with the infotainment system. Here again, you have one control knob that allows you to do a multitude of things, but it's much more than just a rotary knob. It is basically a four-way joystick. What this enables you to do, if you look at the middle there, the multitasking menu, one tap up, no matter what screen that you're in, and it'll enable you to select from the radio, the media, like your iPhone or USB stick, to the telephone, navigation, apps, and settings. And then one tap down, and it automatically brings up your radio presets. But again, what separates this is you don't have to go into the menu to choose between the different bands, AM, FM, or Sirius XM. You can have all of them lined up in a row, conveniently accessed with one tap down. So again, making it very simple for the driver to remain focused on the driving experience. So because this is an Italian car, of course, we love customization. So we give you a lot of different choices and how you can personalize your cars. And we've got a variety of different models out here to showcase some of that personalization. So anything from 12 exterior colors, 24 different interior color and trim combinations, not available all in one car, we're you know, not making it overly complex. Um, you also have 10 different wheel options and then five different trim options ranging from piano black, genuine carbon fiber, genuine wood, or aluminum accents on the interior. So with that, Let's talk about what you're going to drive today. We have 20 cars available. Six of them are gonna be out on the track. And of the 20, to kind of give you a signal, we love performance here at Alfa Romeo as well. 14 of the 20 are quadrifolios. So everyone should have a chance to climb behind the wheel, experience what 505 horsepower rear wheel drive feels like. Um, then we've got basically three different trim levels. There's a Julia, the Julia TI, and then there's the quadrifolio. Now, one other thing worth mentioning, if you think about the competition, not only they're not focusing on the driver, they're also not focusing on the standard content. They tend to have an option list that exceeds their standard content list. That's again where this car is different. So standard on every single Julia, leather seating. Not vinyl, no matter what they try to call it, it's vinyl, this is leather. At the same time, the bi-xenon headlamps, LED daytime running lights, LED tail lamps, dual exhaust, all standard. Seven inch TFT, uh, passive keyless enter and go with push button start, standard across the board. 10 way power driver's seat, standard. So you get the sense, rear backup camera, standard. A lot of the features that are optional in the competition is standard across the board on the Julia lineup. So there's basically three different trims that you'll be able to experience today. On the Quadrifolio, it's either with or without carbon ceramic brakes, or with or without the Sparkle racing seat. So if you jump in one, it's a manual seat, it's very a little bit confining, try out the other seat as well. We do offer the two different alternatives on the Quadrifolio. Then the other one is our TI Sport. So this blue car, that is our TI Sport. In essence, it gives you the look of a Quadrifolio on the Julie with a 280 horsepower engine that has tremendous performance. Unique front and rear fascias, 16-way sport performance seat with adjustable bolsters on it, adjustable thigh extenders as well, 19-inch staggered uh, performance tires. It's a phenomenal look. And at the other extreme is our Lusso package. They get you unique 18-inch wheels, bright chrome accents on the outside, as well as our Lusso high-end leather and then genuine wood accents on the interior. So there are hero cards at the back here that gives you all of the product details so you can understand what is standard, what are the available packages that you can get, and then the content walks between each of the packages because we want you out there driving here today.